Plastic here. Today, I have another Doki Doki crate to open. Doki Doki crate <laughs> to open. This one is June Doki Doki crate. And just so you guys know, I try to make it clear every time, but this Doki Doki crate was sent to me by Doki Doki crate for free to review. But I'm not paid to do this. And all of the opinions and everything, they are my own. And yeah. Just wanted to get that out of the way because I like to let you guys know. So without further ado, let's open this box up and get it started! Oh, by the way, all of the information regarding Doki Doki Cray and where you get it from, um, I'll provide the link in the description box below as well as the information. And... Hi! Yay, yay, yay! Okay, I always get so happy whenever I see this pamphlet because it's so pink and so cute. By the way, you can even see the inner box part is so adorably designed and what I've been doing with my Doki Doki boxes after I'm done opening them I don't actually throw them away but I've been actually just saving the boxes and you know flipping them inside out so that the adorable design is outside and you know the more plain pink design is inside and I actually use these boxes to store things and it's been just really really amazing like that so that way you don't throw away the boxes either. So let's take a look at the art for this month. Somehow I feel like this style of art has changed. Hmm, I'm not too sure. But here is the art. So cute. And you can even see inside, it tells you about like Japanese fashion. And on one of the pages, there's a comic strip. I can't really show you a lot about this pamphlet because it actually will spoil what's inside the box. And... <gasps> Oh gosh, we got another plushie. Two plushies. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so let's get one thing at a time. This one, I guess they're really enjoying working with Hopechan. Hopechan? Because this one is a Hopechan plush keychain. As you can see, it's so soft and so cute. I like the little details on the bow. And there's the ball chain on the back right here, which is gold. And you can see the tag over here. So here is the plush. This box actually has a lot of little items. And let's grab this big one. Wait, <laughs> what is this? Is it Take Omo or Take Omo? Not too sure, but um, I think it might be a Doki Doki Cray character. Because look, it has Doki Doki logo right here. So I wonder, um, hold on, let me just quickly look at the booklet so that I can give you guys a better explanation. In the booklet, it says, Welcome to the newest addition to our exclusive Doki Doki plush line, Take and Omo. To learn more about these fashionable dogs, see page 4. Who's hiding in your crate? The playful Omo or the daring Take? I don't know which one this is. Oh, this one must be Take. It says Take with the yellow one. So I got Take plush and I really, really like how this one has a little band-aid embroidered on the nose and also it's got stars because I love star patterns. The button is an actual button sewn on, but the rest of the details are all embroidered on. Those are little flappy ears right here. So cute. Of course, I should have known because it has the Japan crate tag. I really am impressed that they're making their own line of plushies. They did that with the last crate too, I believe. Oh... Oh my gosh, these little accessories, I love them! So it looks like we got a blind box right here, which I'm not going to open here, but I'm going to actually save it for my blind bag marathon. But this one is a Peanuts 3-inch collectible figure, and it looks like there are a lot of variations you can get. These are really cute. I kind of want this cloud one. That one looks really cute. Oh, this one is the Kui collection! Oh, I should have known! <laughs> Really cute. There are just so many accessories in here. I think I'm going to try to show you guys the bigger items first and then get to the smaller items. So this one is Hatsune Miku Lanyard. Let's open it up and show you guys how it looks inside. If I can figure out... Oh, there it is. So here is the lanyard. There is an illustration of Hatsune Miku and it says includes collectible sticker. Oh, this one must be a sticker. It is a sticker. That's pretty cool. And for the lanyard part, here is how it looks. There is a little, um, like a little buckle part right here. There's a little music note. You can even see the little chibi illustrations of some of your favorite Vocaloids. They're so cute. Oh, so cute. And I love the fact that they are actually printed this way so if you're actually wearing your lanyard around your neck the characters will be facing upright and there's another buckle on the top too that's really cool oh i just noticed that um the inner part actually has a different pattern 
This one only has meat cook. So you can actually flip your lanyard around depending on how you want your lanyard to be seen. I personally like this side with all of the characters. Oh, I guess maybe they're trying to do monthly Hopechan every month because in the booklet it says Monthly Hopechan. This month's Hopechan comes with a lovely Decora style bow. Hopechan loves Harajuku fashion and she even has her own shop there. We can't wait to see what other fashion trends Hopechan will try next. So here is the monthly Hopechan I got. I'm not going to take it out because I feel like you guys can actually clearly see it through the plastic bag. I really like the bow that they put on her. Comes with the ball chain around her so that you can use it as a keychain. And I actually really like how it comes with this like little paper background because it just makes it look more presentable this way. This character is starting to really grow on me. Probably because I've been seeing it every month from Doki Doki Crates. Do -do -do -do. This one actually caught my eyes right away and I love, 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 love this. This is so creepy but cute. I actually like creepy cute stuff depending on how creepy it is. If it's too creepy, I don't like it. But I think this one is just like right amount of creepiness and cuteness together. It's so cute and it's a little bow with a little um, clip on the back and the bow part is made with vinyl and here is the eyeball part I got the blue eye then these two these are Mayo Puri zipper pull and sticker sheet so this one is a zipper pull that you can actually attach to any of your jackets or backpack wherever you want to make it look kawaii. So here is the zipper pull I got and I also got a sticker sheet. This is a really cute <laughs> character. Kind of funny though. I've never heard of this character. She's really cute. He is really cute. He? She? It? Really cute. <laughs> then rest of these little accessory items are actually just I don't know grouped together it doesn't even have explanation in the booklet so I'll quickly show you this I love this tie um if you guys don't own any of these ties this is really really awesome for any long haired people I've tried many different ties but this tie actually leaves um less dent in your hair after use so I actually own a couple of these so this is definitely going to go into my like hair tie collection and then I got a little can pin of a pandan pandana pan, pandana pandanda <laughs> i don't know this character if you couldn't tell already but it's really cute then right here we got a little zipper bracelet i actually have several of these but i don't think i have this color combination i don't think i have purple and pink i have green and pink i have black and pink black and yellow i don't think i have this color combination so this will definitely go into my collection too. I love the fact that some of these items are actually the things that I actually use in my real life. And I have no idea what this is, so we're going to actually open it and see what it is. I think it's a hair tie. Is it a hair tie? It is a hair tie with a little bow! Oh, this is so cute! So when you actually tie your hair like this, it'll actually have a little bow on the top. This is so cute! Oh, and a little polka dot! And I love the fact that it's red because red is actually one of my favorite colors. Then the last item we got is a handkerchief. Is it? Yeah, it is a handkerchief. Um, this one is called Chakun Handkerchief. And it's such an adorable character. It actually reminds me of Uglies for some reason. But this one is holding a donut. And it's got really long eyelashes. And it looks like this character has a zipper mouth. Let's see if there's... Oh, okay, so the back is blank. It's really colorful and cute though. Here are the items I got from my June Doki Doki crate. Out of all of the items I got, I think my favorite is probably... Hmm... Probably that Take or Take plush because I think it's so unique that they created another character for themselves. And I really like their little creepy cube eyeball bow. I think it's so cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? Which one's your favorite item? Please let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, 